Okay, folks, I'm at the next spot where the beavers were damming up the culvert going across the road. And I came back yesterday to set and uh, found a huge hut, about five feet high, 20 feet long, and 12, 15 feet wide, and a feed bed huge. So I got in here late in the evening and I set two 3.30 Belials and two snares. Today it's raining, so I'm not going to add any more sets. We'll do that tomorrow. So let me turn you around here. Okay. I think you can see the hut there. Stickers, ouch. Okay, that snare's gone. That snare's knocked down. Had a snare under here. And it must have chewed out. No. It must have had sticks or something in there. And that one's pulled down. So I'm going to go ahead, reset these, and get back with you. Okay, I got the snare set back. They just pulled them down. Must have had a stick in their mouth or something. Now we'll go over here and check the. 3.30 Belial's. I see one floating there. Small one floating right there. And about a good neck catch. And that one still set right there they must have a bank den or another entrance into the hut because that one wasn't touched okay let me get him out of here and uh, we'll see you tomorrow in the next catch well, this water has come up since yesterday and the snare ouch there was pulled down by these this brush and stuff. We'll send it back underneath here. Maybe they'll swim through it. Here's my second snare. All this debris going through here. I, I'm not sure what's doing this. I'm going to set this snare back and get back with you.
part on my back. Lower back. Hey folks, this is um, we're checking the, the beaver traps over at the culvert that they're blocking up and it's uh, the water was crossing over the road so uh, I was called in there to remedy the problem and that is the beavers. So this is actually the second real check that we're going on today. We caught two yesterday, removed them out of the traps. Uh, and then I set some more traps. I set, uh, so far right now, I have five snares, two footholds, and two 330s. And um, this is the one that has the gigantic hut, five foot or so tall, 20 foot long and 12 to 14 feet wide biggest one I've seen for in a while so when we get over there we'll get back with you and uh, let you know if there's any action so you hang in there got one okay folks we've got a lively one underneath here still alive in the snare there he is pretty big dude I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch him and I'll get back with you. big one
I want to show you something here. I want you to see that he chewed everything except where I had anchored. That's why it's very important you keep your anchor cable as low as possible. Okay, folks, it's um, Wednesday. Check four at the culvert where the beavers have clogged the culvert up. And uh, so far, we've taken, on three checks, we've taken four beaver, three two year olds, and um, a big one, huge one, uh, probably uh, I'd say four or five year old as big as it was. Uh, it was definitely an adult um so wow this road is bumpy so what we'll do is we'll get back with you is uh when we get over there and have some action put these gloves on Buster, my dog. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we got another two year old in the C thirty Belisle at the hut. That makes five off of this place. Alrighty. Well, folks, here we are. This is the fifth check at the culvert that the beavers have been, um, that, that you blocked off and uh, made this little stream into a big lake. And it goes all the way around that hillside in behind these houses and it floods their fields. So the state had me come in to remove the beavers. Like I said, this is the fifth check. We've taken five beaver. We've taken uh, four two-year-olds 
or year and a half old and uh, I'd say they're a year and a half It'll be two years old in the spring when they get kicked out but these won't get kicked out because I done kicked them out uh, so we got four year and a half olds and one huge four or five year old uh, and I caught caught that one on Monday and this is Thursday and I've only caught like one in the body grip a day so it made five total beaver out of this place and the day we went through I have a dozen traps total and zero activity not even a firing not even a pushing the snare out of the way so personally I think I'm pretty well done but they're going to come today and uh, unblock the culvert with a backhoe and I'll check tomorrow and Saturday to see if they come back to fix it uh, if it's not fixed we're good if it is fixed there's more beaver in here and uh, this whole time I haven't caught any kits from this past spring not a one so usually they're the first ones to get in the traps so I'm thinking that there wasn't a breeding pair for some reason possibly one of the mates uh, got killed by something or someone and haven't produced any babies uh, from this spring so I've only like I said I've only had four year and a half olds and uh, one large one so this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors and uh, this may be the last time we're on the on this camera at this spot it may not be so we'll see you down the road <laughs>